What happens when you get really busy and you don't have time to do your videos every week? That's what we're talking about right now. Welcome back. This is Vito Skarnecchia, founder of Video Ease. I'm also a real estate broker and I've noticed that a lot of people are getting really busy right now, so much so that our production has slowed down a little bit. And this is just a quick reminder that you should be batch recording as often as you can because when you get busy, things kind of tend to slip away. And the most important thing is marketing that always takes a back seat. I've been in publishing. I understand when times get tough, publishing takes a back end back seat to uh, other things like trying to stay afloat. You're busy right now. I totally understand it. I'm super busy right now. I've been working 12 hour days trying to get my listings up and running and working with buyers, etc. And the last thing I want to do is think about videos. I'm always thinking about videos because it's my business, but you know, I carry my suitcase around all the time. I always am out there trying to figure out what I can do to the next thing to help promote my video series. Right now I'm trying to build out a lot of B-roll for different cities that I, I surround around uh, San Jose. So for example, I'm going down to Morgan Hill. I'm going to do a fly around downtown Morgan Hill and different parks and hiking areas. And then I have my GoPro, etc. But today we're really talking about what are some really quick down and dirty things you can do to get videos to us to help you promote your business. And it doesn't take a lot of foresight. You can just talk about little simple things and even if it's a four or five minute video just get it out there and knock them out so number one if you're at a client's place and this is even if you're you know if you're not a realtor and you're a handyman or a baker or whatever and you're going to a business to drop stuff off video it talk about what you do talk about why it's important to do what you're doing so for example i'm working on a couple different houses and we're getting them fixed. So I was boots on ground a couple days ago with my project manager and I noticed one thing that was out of whack and it was the siding was kind of starting to wear. It needed a little bit of love, a little bit of attention. And you know, that would have been a great video for us to do. I could just pop my, my camera up on a tripod, push play, start talking to my project manager and explain why it's important and how this little tiny eyesore that might catch the attention of the right buyer it might turn them off. That's a great video that you could have done. So when you're meeting with a client, whether you're at lunch or a coffee shop or even after your office, you can sit down with them and talk about what's going on. You can have uh, maybe a video of you sitting down and walking and talking and shaking hands and showing your client what you're doing. But then afterwards, maybe talk about the business that you're at. If you're at your office, you can do highlights of your office. Or if you're at a lunch, you can do highlights of the restaurant. If you're at a coffee shop, you know, choose a small local coffee shop instead of a Starbucks and then talk to the manager or the owner and find out why they are in business and how they're doing and what, what their favorite things are about the business and the area that they're supporting. That's a great video. That was my first video. I did it with Moon Beans Coffee. You could dig it down into my channel and check it out. People loved it. People absolutely loved it. And what it is, it's a soft sell saying that you're a real estate agent or you're you're in business, right? And people go, yeah, I gotta call Vito when it's time for me to buy or sell a house. When you're walking your dog, take some videos of parks that are nearby or hiking areas that are nearby or highlight architectural highlights of different houses that you like in the area. You know, I mean, you're walking around, you maybe do a mile and a half, two miles. There's so many different houses that are in your neighborhood. What do you like about them? What don't you like about them? What about the gargantuan nasty ones that people, you know, put five units in? And I'm thinking about this one specific house that's, you know, one street over. <laughs> but, you know, those are little things that you can talk about. And, you know, you want this to be a real positive vibe type video, but you're talking about all the cool things that are in your surrounding area. So think about that too. Shopping. I do a lot of Amazon shopping because <laughs> it's just easier and we've all kind of gotten into that habit. But if you do go to stores or a shopping mall, highlight the shopping mall. Talk about what's cool about it. I know that half the freaking businesses are out of business right now, but there's other ones that are still out there. Go to like, like for me, it would be Oak Ridge Mall. And I would highlight the smaller businesses, talk about what's, what they do and what the cool thing is. I just had a watch that I haven't used in seven years, five or seven years. 
because the battery was dead. And I finally had the gumption to take it to the mall because I was taking my daughter to do something at Target or whatever. And I dropped off the watch to have it done. It would have been a great little video. And these are all regular things that you do during the course of your day. Again, saw me on multiple videos. This is my main video recorder right here. I do this a lot. I have a GoPro, I have a drone. I'm talking on a webcam right now, but my main one is this thing right here. And I do it uh, consistently wherever I go, I take B-roll. And now I can pop it up on a little tripod and then you could do that too, right? So there's a lot of different things you can do with, with setting it up, but we have videos for that. Last is events. Now that we're opening up, Santa Clara County was one of the last counties to actually open up and remove all the mandates. Now that we're opening up, we're going to have a whole lot more events and we started seeing them pop up already, but now you're going to see art and wine festivals come back. So let's talk about those. You're going to go to them anyway, put some video down on it. And here's the thing, all these things, they don't take a lot of planning, right? They're like, Oh, you know what? I, I brought my tripod, pop it up, start talking. And you can either be with somebody else or you can just have yourself talking to a client in the background and you're just shooting the video. This is all you really need to do. Just shoot the video, get your mindset around batch recording, getting a lot of videos out, filling out videos that help promote you and the surrounding areas that you're supporting or that you work in. All right. So that was five different topics that you can do really easy without a lot of preparation. Guys, I know you're busy. We're all busy right now. Get those videos out there because the algorithm will continue to march on and continue to promote those who push those videos into their channels. So keep them out there. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, pop them down there in the comments below. I'm Vito Skarnecchia with Video Ease. We'll see you out there.